Hello everybody, Sly Starcraft here and I am back with a Zerg vs Zerg in Heart of the Swarm beta. My opponent is Peacebone and that kind of makes me want to make several jokes but I'm really tired, I just got back from the gym so I think I'm just going to play Starcraft instead of making tons of jokes. Uh, although I guess some of you might be here for the jokes. Anyway, um, yeah, I want to try to do a highlight or a quick overview of every single unit, new unit in the game. As you can see I have my Swarm host highlight up. That unit is so good. Easily my favorite unit already. I want to do the Viper next, but it's I haven't had a good experience playtesting it yet. It just seems kind of redundant with the Infestors. Like, the Cloud will never be better than Fungal Growth. Um, the Pole, I haven't got to test that much, but it seems like, I don't know, getting a Viper just to pull a unit? Nah, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm reserving judgment, but... Um, it just doesn't seem all that effective, I, I I gotta say. We'll see, we'll see. It used to be just Lair, but now it's uh, Hive. So that's kind of a bummer. I do like that Blizzard is working on improving T2 slash 2.5 for Zerg, so that's pretty cool. Giving them more options, rather. So this is a ZBZ. I'm going to be expanding. Um, you know, Scumbag, Zerg versus Zerg might do like a 10 pool or something like that, but I feel like in Heart of the Swarm beta, most people are good-mannered enough to actually kind of macro up, try to experience some new units, and you know, still play a solid game, but also at the same time, um, try to try to test out the new stuff. So my expansion's going down, I'm going to be going 16, or 15 hatch, 16, gas, 16 pool. I don't know if people still do that. I've been kind of out of the Starcraft loop lately, but now that I'm getting back into it, um, makes me kind of wonder if it's actually something that's done by anyone. Gonna spread you over there, let's throw down my pool. Now this leads to very late Zerglings, but the cool thing is um, you will have much faster speed than your opponent, assuming he also went 15 hatch. So that's why I like this opening, and if he just, uh, even if he did like a 14 pool, he's not going to get his links to you in time uh, before you get links. So pretty solid, I like it. Again, I don't know if people actually do it, so I wouldn't um, immediately recommend copying it. But I like it, so let's make it work. Make it work. And if you guys are wondering what uh, this is, actually I can't find it. Hold on. Oh well, I was gonna say I was. I don't know if you guys know what like the rocks are. You can like break open some rocks, and then it drops the rocks down to a uh, different section. And there's like all kinds of tactics you can use with that. I think I went over that in my first video actually. So that's good. Gonna get some lings out. I'm probably gonna get about four lings, and then just kind of scout to see if he's getting an expansion. I do leave one guy in gas for a baneling nest. Again, I'm not sure if that's standard anymore, but it's just what I'm gonna be doing this game. And uh, I like to time my baneling nest about when that one guy will mine enough to train it. So it's it gives me like a good little uh, indicator as to when I should actually um, be getting my nest. My baneling nest. Baneling nest. Overlord was a bit late, should have trained it with my previous two larvae instead of my next two that I'm getting right now. Fortunately, I'm not like thr throttling larvae or anything, so it's not a huge deal. There's my Overlord. Let's get another Overlord since there's going to be an inject coming up soon. There we go. Position him down there. So we are seeing an expansion. Pretty normal. Not going to be able to kill a drone. I should have kept better track of my uh, Zerglings. I should not have lost two there. That was <clears throat> that was pretty careless. So not a good start, but it's okay. I think if I get a spine, I will be able to drone up a bit harder than him. Super hard. Keep the Overlords on the outskirts of his base so I can see what kind of movements he will be doing. And now I'm going to go ahead and saturate all the way. Let's go ahead and put one of my Lings on here. And get six more Lings just because I have speed now so they can do a lot more. Even if my opponent has more lings, uh, I can still just run by, obviously. Need another overlord again, a little bit slow on the overlords, not good. You pretty much always want to trade an overlord whenever you uh, receive an inject, whenever an inject pops out. But I'm just kind of uh, slacking off a little bit. Alright, so now that I have that, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take a quick third, I'm gonna go for a fairly fast lair. Now let's see if he's got speed or not. If he doesn't have speed, I'll try to get some harassment done with these guys. But I'm going to go for a Swarm Host, Ling, Baneling. And see if that works. Try to support my Swarm Host with Banelings if he gets Roaches. Uh, roaches are actually really bad against Locusts, I found out. I mean, most things are. There's his Banelings. He's able to take out one Baneling. That's pretty cool. Ooh, nope. 
Not able to get a second though. Gonna take another gas, and I'm actually gonna send two in to see what he's getting. Don't think he'll be able to kill. Is he gonna? Yep. Okay, so he's gonna kill my Ling and with his Bane Ling instead of instead of just letting me scout. He really does not want me to scout, does he? Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna have to get a overseer with this guy. Ling is being attacked. There's up. Gonna get an overseer. He might be rushing to swarm host too. It wouldn't even surprise me. Let's get a evolution chamber. So I've got 19 on each hatch. Now I can think about getting my uh, third. Should probably be attacking that though. Here comes his third. Now let's send the overseer. Get one more there and one more here. Here comes some lings. And he's going Spire. Okay, so I won't be getting Swarmhost. I'm going to be getting um, Infestors. So now I know that. And Hydras. Oh, come on. Lame. this guy doing? Hmm. Gonna get some queens as well, so let me get a couple spores. My infestors can start coming. Spore. Spore. Now unfortunately his third base is gonna be much faster than mine. So that kinda sucks. And my overlords are all gonna die too. Run overlord! Run over here. So he's got a good leg up on me right now, unfortunately. Kind of a little build order win type thing. Not really a build order win when you get infested though. We require more vesting gas. I guess I can use these lings, huh? Our bosses are under attack. Actually I'm gonna go hive and then just mass uh Oh man. Mass Muta or Hydras maybe? 24. I don't need 24 there. I also don't need all this money. Gotta spend some of that. See if I can take down this uh, little bit. Wait, why? Oh, he collapsed the rocks. Okay, that's really cool. So you can collapse the rocks to protect your third. I did not know that. That's pretty fancy. I like it. I like the way this guy thinks. Oh, what the fuck. I don't think I have enough to kill those roaches. Go infestors. Get down there. I don't know why I'm getting hydras when I knew he would transition out of mutas. Oh, nope. Get out of there. Oh, my Hydra's right stuff is done. No, run! Oh, what? My hatch is almost- I fucking hate this new health indicator. That's the worst thing ever. It's gonna kill my hatch now. Yep, there it goes. That health indicator's terrible. I think I can switch that, though. 
So he's just gonna pretend it's not part of the swarm and just overwhelm me with mass roach, I guess. That's cool. Well, I stopped it. I'm not in great shape, though. I'm actually in very bad shape. Oh, come on, Hydras. Can't select my Hydras. There we go. Get, do I want to get swarm hosts? I don't know. I think I just need more hydras. Dick. It's not cool. No, bad rally. Ooh, if he like runs in, I can trap him in. That'd be cool. I think I'm gonna try that. Oh, nope, he's just gonna come the other way. Those banlings did absolutely nothing. But he's gonna snipe my other hatch. What a dick. Go, Hydras. Go Hydras. Does he have that base? Does he have that base? I'm pretty sure I'm boned right now. Oh come on, I thought I... Okay, I'm just gonna assume he has that base and go for it. Sorry this isn't a very hard of the swarmy guy game for you guys. I mean I don't really get to choose, you know. Hydra speed isn't the same as what they are on creep, so that's kind of a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> GG, nice expansion units. Way to take advantage of beta. Fuck!